Hello everyone, I am Bradley Sward and this is my solution to day one of the Advent of Code 2023 competition. The problem is called trebuchet question mark exclamation point and I solved the problem in Python. So let's take a look at the let's look at the problem and let's look at the solution. So the problem states that basically there's a for every line there's a bunch of numbers in there and it could be the same number there could be only one number or there could be multiple ones of them but there has to be at least one number in each line and so you're going line by line through and you're basically removing all the letter characters and then basically replacing that or uh, just with with just empty spaces and then whatever numbers are left over you take the first number and the last number and you turn that into a two digit number and then you add them all together so this becomes a 12 and this becomes a 38 and a 15 every, all the numbers in between don't matter and the 7 is is duplicated because so, it's the only number there and so for part 1 how did i do that i did it a you know, here is my data set for the huge amount of data here but you can see here, this is the code I wrote. And again, my day zero code was pretty helpful to kind of get me started here. Uh, but just to get started here, I said for every line in here, basically go through all the characters, figure out which ones are ASCII numbers and turn them into a digit and then put them into uh, you know, the list of lists uh, basically as such. And if I want to, I can print out, oh, you'll see it, how crazy it prints out when it prints out, print the data, but you'll see then, then if I basically find the first element in the list and I find the last element in the list and turn it in, basically turn it into a two digit number and just keep summing up and summing up, I will get the correct answer for, that I do for part one. And so you can see, oh my goodness, look how crazy that is. But you can see all of the, every element, every line is, an, is a list inside the list. And then inside of that, uh, is an, it's an integer list. So you can see that this is a two and a six or this is a four and a four. And the negative one is great because it even if as long as there's one element, I can always go back to that first element. So that if this sums up to 40, uh, 54,388, which just seem, seems to coincide with my 54,388. And so for part two, you look through here and you go, oh my goodness, look at how look how cool this is. There's numbers, but then there are also words, and they don't always have to be words like a b c doesn't matter for anything but the word one in there and the word three in there and so forth and so on and so we have to go in and replace those with numbers but it's a little trickier than you think because like with this one eight two three you can see that eight is part of the eight the t is part of eight but it's also part of the two so that one threw me off for just a little bit because uh, this is day one and haven't been coding in a while, but you can see that we need to work this down so that this becomes an 8, 2, and a 3, and then this does, you know, because if it was just 8 and 2, this would be 82 uh, with, if this wasn't part of the problem here. So to make that work, I went ahead and basically just replaced the, the words 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0 with the word, but with the number in there, basically just, I guess I just put it after the first digit of the first character. Uh, I don't know if it necessarily matters, and I don't necessarily know a better way, but I'm moving on with my life. I found the solution to the problem. And again, those of you who do watch this can uh, fall in line, and please uh, let me know how to do this any better. But basically, it's the same exact code, but I just replaced all the, the words with this string that just has the number halfway or just right after the start. And when I run that, I get my answer of 50, uh, 53,515 which does coincide with my answer here. So that is my solution to uh, day one, parts one and two in Python. And again, if you know a better way, or I would love to see it, and I'd, I'd love to hear about it, love to hear your comments about that. Uh, day one is fun, and I'm looking forward to day two coming up in the near future, of course, uh, 23 and a half hours from now. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care, and we'll see you in the future.